Alright guys, in today's video I will show you how you can do half the pull crochet and to start off with that you will need a ball of yarn. I'm using a 100% cotton by Anchor and the brand is Coats and you can also find this at www.coatsclots.in It's an Indian manufactured Indian uh, yarn and um, I'm also going to use a four and a half millimeter or a number seven crochet hook. To start out, you want to make a slip knot. If you don't know how to do a slip knot, you can watch my previous video in order to know how you can do a slip knot. So you want to take your crochet hook, insert it into the slip knot. Alright, now make a chain of 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, and the last one being number 13. So these two chains, number 12 and 13, will work as our first double crochet, half double crochet so you want to yarn over leave the two chains from your hook that is the number 12 and the number 13 go into the number 11 pull up a loop you have three loops on your hook yarn over go through all of the loops you want to yarn over go into the next chain pull up a loop you have three loops on your hook and you want to go through all of those loops I want to show you one mo once more yarn over go into the next chain from your hook Pull up a loop, yarn over and go through all of those loops again. Yarn over, go into the chain, pull up a loop, yarn over and go through all of those loops. Yarn over, go into the chain, pull up a loop and go through all of those loops. You want to yarn over, go into the chain, pull up a loop, yarn over and go through all of those loops. Yarn over, go into the chain, pull up a loop, yarn over and go through all of those loops. Yarn over, go into the chain, pull up a loop, yarn over and go through all of those loops. You want to do this all the way around until you are at the very end of this chain. So I have come to the very end of my uh, chains and I want to start off with a chain 2, chain 2 and turn your work. You want to yarn over, go into this first chain, pull up a loop and go into all of the loops. Yarn over, go into the chain, pull up a loop, and go into all of those loops. Yarn over, go into the chain, pull up a loop, and go into all of those loops. You want to continue doing that all the way across. So now I'm at the very end. I want to yarn over, go into this last turning chain, go into the chain, pull up a loop, yarn over and go through all of those loops so there you have a section of half double crochet you want to chain two turn your work yarn over go into the chain pull up a loop and go through all of those three loops yarn over go into the chain 
pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through all of those loops. Yarn over, go into the chain, pull up a loop, and go into all of those loops. So that's how you do half double crochet. I want to show you a project that I have done using half double crochet, and that is a wallet. It's a clutch purse. I haven't added any uh, decoration on top of this. I just added in a magnetic lock in this way and this is how it looks. I think it's really fun and you can do a lot uh, with half double crochet. Maybe in the near future I will show you this project um, in a detailed manner as to how you can do this purse. So that's all for now. After adding some decoration, I will do a tutorial on this um, clutch purse using half double crochet. So I hope that you stay tuned for the tutorial. And I also want to show you one more project that I did using single crochet. This is also a clutch purse I did using single crochet. Uh, it's also fun and easy to work with. I also haven't added any decoration or button onto the top part. And this has also been made using the same magnetic lock. So I will do a project or I will do a tutorial on these two um, purses. I hope that you stay tuned for my, tu for my next videos. Subscribe to my channel, like the videos, leave a comment and encourage me. If you want, you can share my videos as well. So until then, I'll see you next time in the next tutorial. Bye for now.